This beautiful tree house that's perched on top of a mountain in Tennessee is gonna be our home for the next 24 hours. Cheers. Step the two. Oh, oh no. no. They have two different types of accommodations scattered around the property here. Tree houses and domes. Tonight, we're checking into what they call the honeymoon tree house, and then tomorrow we'll pack everything up and check in to one of the luxury domes. The past few months have been filled with some serious adventures. I can't believe you have to do First, I encouraged Kara to jump off a lot of things in Switzerland. <laughs> then we flew back to the US and spent six days totally off the grid in the boundary waters. All oh, the mosquitoes just started attacking. <laughs> I mean, this was like truly roughing it. We were pooping in holes in the ground. From there, we drove straight to Iowa where we rented a tandem bike and rode over 450 miles across the state with 10,000 of our closest new friends. I guess what I'm trying to say is after the last two months, I've feel like I owe Kara a little luxury. Okay. So when we had to return to Nashville to take care of some personal stuff, I decided to book a couple nights at what has to be one of the most unique and luxurious accommodations in the entire state. Earlier today, we drove two hours from Nashville to the Bolt Farm right outside of Chattanooga. Oh my gosh. This is the most beautiful tree house I've ever seen. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, is that a note? And it has a B on it. I'm sure it's for Bolt, but we'll say it's B. <laughs> we are so excited to host y'all and finally meet you. Love, Seth and Tori. P.S. We heard you like this wine. Enjoy! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Sauvage! So the original Bolt Farm Treehouse is in South Carolina. And we went there last winter. Oh gosh. <laughs> and we brought a bottle of our favorite wine. And they must have seen it and bought the same stuff. Well, maybe two up. Okay, we've had some time to familiarize ourselves with our first home of the weekend. So now I'm gonna give you a tour of the most beautiful tree house we've ever seen. Without a doubt, my favorite part of this tree house is the window wall. The entire front of the house is made up of these old, cool, antique windows, and some of them still have like the wavy old glass. The last tree house of theirs we stayed in, the window wall was very similar, but the view was just trees, which was beautiful because you feel very secluded and private. But here, we literally are on top of a mountain with probably one of the best views in all of Tennessee. We have a fireplace. Antique binoculars. Wow. We can do some bird watching in the morning. We have a book of tree houses. Maybe we'll get inspired to build our own one day. Oh my gosh. Colored pencils and an adult coloring book. I've always wanted to do one of these. Front and center is this old school record player with an album that is very special to us because our first dance at our wedding was to a place only you can go if I need to breathe. This guy is Seth. Him and his wife Tori are the ones who built these tree houses and we're actually gonna get to hang out with them this weekend. This whole experience is just so great. We have this beautiful dining room table with a really cool checker. Oh wait, chess? Is this checkers? All right, now the kitchen. Oh my gosh, goose measuring cups. Every little detail is just so cute and I want all of it. This giant farm sink. This is extra special. Antique coffee grinder. Oh my gosh, somebody's falling from the sky. I thought it was a bird at first and then it was actually a person. I didn't even see this microwave, look at this. I think this is one of those things that's supposed to like look old and cool, but really it's brand new. And the retro fridge matches the microwave. Oh, look at this ice tray. That's well, way better than ours. You think anyone here has filmed a video and highlighted the ice tray before? <laughs> Maybe if they live in a van. Next to the fridge, we have a projector, which projects onto a very hidden screen. I didn't even know it was there. How cool is this? Movie night. Fight night. No, this is my night. No sports. The centerpiece of the room is, oh, the bed. This is such an upgrade from the living quarters we have been in for the last two months. I'm not on a sleeping pad on the ground. There's not a generator outside of my bedroom right now. I'm not gonna take a single moment of this for granted. I'm obsessed with the accent wall of this place. I don't take a lot of baths. It's hard for me to like slow down enough to really enjoy 
a bathtub. But this thing is crazy enough and picturesque enough that I feel like I have to. This bathroom is massive and beautiful. All of the furniture in here just makes me feel like a queen. Oh my gosh. This is a handwritten letter from Friday, August 31st, 1945. How old is that? It's old. All right, moving on. We have this beautiful full-length mirror, which when you live in a van, little details like this are a big deal. We have a briefcase holding some yoga mats. Maybe we'll get a little workout in. I love this vanity. The robes are on crowns. And I said I felt like a queen. They really nailed that vibe. Oh my gosh, these are like the nicest robes I've ever felt. I can't wait to get in those. <laughs> Now, the inside of the treehouse is only half of the experience. Take a minute to just soak in this view right now. This deck is incredible. We have a grill and a pizza stone, which we are going to be using both of this weekend. And there are just so many places we can sit and enjoy this view. My favorite chair is probably this big comfy swing. We have this cute little table where we can have our coffee in the morning or have a little aperitivo tonight. And this outdoor bed where we can take a little nap in the shade. Then if it's not too hot, we have a hot tub. I'm curious to know if it's hotter out here or in this water. <laughs> but without a doubt, the best part of the patio is this outdoor shower. The only time I look forward to showering is when it's outside. I don't know what it is, especially when there's a view. Plus there are two shower heads so we can actually shower together, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> Kara scalds her skin. Like I don't know how she doesn't come out of the shower with third degree burns with the water temperature. This all feels very weird to say on camera, which is I think another reason we stick to adventure videos. Being the romantic travel couple, it, it just feels weird to do on camera. See, like, this feels very forced right now. <laughs> <laughs> On adventures, we can just pick up the camera. What? <laughs> Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Athletic Greens has been a part of our daily routine for over a year now. I'm not just saying that. We really do drink this stuff every single day. But now they have a brand new look. Let me introduce you to AG1. Ta -da! It's the same great formula. Just one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients. It's basically a multivitamin on steroids. It also tastes really good. Since we are constantly either on the road or in the air, our diets are pretty unpredictable. And that's why we consider AG1 our nutritional insurance. We keep this jar in our fridge and start every day with it because then we know no matter what happens the rest of the day, our bodies got the nutrients they need. And when we're not in the van, we always grab a few of these travel packs to go. So if you could use some nutritional insurance of your own, click the link in the description below to get the AG1 immunity bundle, which includes five of these travel packs and a one year supply of vitamin D drops for free with your purchase. And of course you'll get the shaker and the cute jar too. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Tar, we can get away. Hmm. I am very impressed. So we paid a little extra to have our fridge stocked with pizza supplies so we can put our pizza oven to use tonight. And we got pretty good at this when we were in Italy a few years ago, but it has been a while. <laughs> Do you remember how to do this? Do I remember how to do this? <laughs> oh, oh no! no, no. <laughs> I feel like it's actually working to it stretch actually out the dough though. Oh, that was a good one. Put it okay. on the plate. Okay. okay. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Voila. Wow. How do you get this? Oh! Ninja. Whoa. Wow. That's actually working really well. We could teach the Italian a thing or two. I feel like it's not going to work as well with the marinara sauce. Put that a little too much. Uh... <laughs> Step two. Bellissima. I love cooking. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had making a pizza outside of Italy. I threw four in a line. That was weird. 10 second rule. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
Not as much fun, but more effective. Wow, that is cooking so fast. It's a good looking pizza. Ah, no eyeballs. <laughs> oh, almost lost it. Push it in. You lose this pizza, day night is over. We almost got too big for the oven. That is some thick crust. Pay attention to what you're doing. Set it down. I don't trust you. Ugh. Are we about to eat this whole thing? 100%. Mmm. So good. That went way better than expected. It's a little warm for a fire tonight, but these marshmallows are gonna be worth it. Fun Back away. up for safety. <laughs> Can't You're just my eating mouth, baby. charred oh, no. blackness. Oh, no. it's right. I can't believe I'm married to a woman that does that. Oh. Mm. Do you eat yours? Mm -hmm. Ooh. The best part about that sunrise is that I didn't even have to get out of bed to see it. I just opened my eyes and the room was orange. And all the clouds were just rolling through the valley. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, what match. That happens when you spend too much time together. Oh, this is magical. I would not have believed you if you told me we would get in a hot tub this weekend. This feeling right now is the reason why I love saying yes to doing hard things with Nate. Those experiences just help me appreciate moments like this so much more. <laughs> After our last few weeks, the contrast. I don't even miss soap. She is currently shaving her legs with a fire hydrant. Somehow, we ran out of time here again. I never took a bath and I never got to color. But thankfully, we don't have to leave the property yet. This dome is epic. I don't have time to show you around right now though because we have to get ready for a very special evening. So I can count on one hand the number of times that I've been solely in charge of a grill. I don't grill, I don't cook, and <laughs> tonight I'm attempting to make meatless burgers for a member of one of our favorite bands and his wife. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm working at a hibachi restaurant. Oh. I mean, they look decent. They have nice grill marks on them. Oh, I took a bite out of that one to see if they were done. I'll hide it before they get here. No pressure. <laughs> feel free to be honest. Yeah. All you. It looks amazing. Look at this. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> we didn't make it easy for you. Mm -hmm. What I love about this hamburger is these vegetables. <laughs> the only part not on the hamburger. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it.
last night was so much fun. I think we just became best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Is it too soon to say I love them? Don't make it weird. It's so rare for us to meet another couple who's in such a similar phase of life. Seth and Tori are married, they're working together, they're building a business in the travel space, they live in an RV. We just have so much in common. So we were just able to connect on so many levels. It was really great. I don't think it's gonna stop raining for the rest of the day, which I'm not even sad about because it means I get to stay in my robe in this cozy dome all day long, and we finally have time to show you around this place. They basically recreated the tree house in the dome. There are so many similarities. The best part being you have the same great view because the whole front of the dome is made of windows, which is especially great when it's raining because you can hear the rain hitting the roof and you can just watch the water trickle all the way down. We actually learned last night that Seth designed both the treehouse and the dome, even down to the hardware that holds it together. So just knowing how much thought went into every little detail makes us appreciate this place so much more. Now this is kind of the hangout area. We have a futon in front of the bed and these little cushions with this little table here. And I just love that whether you're in the bed, futon, or the floor, you're just forced to face this direction and embrace this view. We have the same cute little coloring book, which maybe I'll put to use this time. Oh, and we also have a projector and a giant screen right in front of the bed. Moving on into the kitchen, we have these awesome hanging shelves. We have everything we need to host four people at a dinner party, and we know that because we managed to use every single dish. Ow! <laughs> now this wall separates the main portion of the dome from the bathroom. It's a very open floor plan back here, which is great if you're just sharing the dome with your significant other, but when you have friends eating dinner and you have to pee and there's no locking door, it can be a little awkward. <laughs> but there is this dividing wall that separates the toilet from this same great tub, which I will put to use today. Here is a great place to store all of your stuff, which we have taken full advantage of. Now for the outside. Okay. We have a grill that's great for making veggie burgers, pizza oven, outdoor shower, hot tub, my favorite swinging chair, a different chair than our last place, outdoor seating area with freshly picked flowers, a little fountain, and that's all. And I don't know why I did this because it's the same as the other one. <laughs> Come on! All right. How about find these questions? We figured since it's raining and we have some time to kill, we'd use this opportunity to catch you up on our life a little bit. That sounded boring. How can we make answering questions sound exciting? We're answering the juiciest <laughs> questions. Kara posted in the community tab, you ask questions and we're gonna answer the most popular ones. What is the plan once you guys hit 50 states? I thought the question was gonna be, what happened to your goal to hit all 50 states? We still have it. We do? So we set our goal to visit 100 countries. We never turn down opportunities to revisit countries just because we had that goal. And I think that's kind of the approach we're taking with the states right now. Over the next, call it a year? Lifetime? 18 months. <laughs> our goal is still to hit all 50 states, but there's probably going to be other stuff sprinkled in between. How are you planning on taking off Hawaii and Alaska? The idea of driving the van up to Alaska sounds incredible, but you can only do that in certain seasons, which I'm pretty sure is summer. And so if we drive to Alaska, it would have to be next summer. It is technically possible for us to take the van to Hawaii. It's very expensive to ship there, but I'm tempted to do it just to prove everyone wrong who's gotten really smart in the comment section and gone, oh, how are you gonna do Hawaii in the van? What are your next countries? Don't know. This is going great. As you can tell, we don't have a lot of concrete plans at the current moment. I would say most likely our next countries are Canada and Mexico. I think we really like the idea of taking the van to a different country. Which videos were you most proud of? I think the Everest Base Camp series that we made year one would be painful for me to go back and watch, but the fact that we picked up the camera every day while we were doing something really hard yeah. for two weeks was really fun. Are there any videos you thought would be more popular than they ended up being? We loved your playing laser tag and airplanes video that and one. your raw reactions. We feel the same way. I was so pumped about that airplane laser tag video because we survived and it was one of the coolest things we've ever done and it felt like no one watched it. Some of our coolest adventures and the things that we think are just like the most epic videos don't end up doing very well. All you can think about is how sick I felt after that was over. That was terrible. I mean for you, I felt fine. 
If you guys hadn't chosen this path, what life do you think you guys would have? 100% I think we would still be in our hometown. I would probably be teaching. We would probably have kids. Which is crazy because we made that one decision to book a flight to Tokyo for a year. But it completely changed the course of the rest of our life. It's crazy. In what country did you experience the scariest part of your travel journey? South Dakota. <laughs> The glacier in Switzerland. Yeah. With all the places you've traveled together, what is the one place that you can see yourself settling down and possibly living? If friends and family didn't exist, I think we would live in Colorado. If we're not picking from the US, Italy is one of our top places. Any plans on starting a family? When we first got married, we had all intentions of having kids. And we said, okay, in five years, we'll start trying to have kids. That five year mark was in 2018. <laughs> we know we're not ready for kids right now, and in the future, we'll see. The ring that Nate wears. Is that a family ring slash crest? Yes. My dad designed this. He gave it to my grandfather for Father's Day a long time ago, and now, when you turn 18 in the Buchanan family, you get a Buchanan crest. If you could wow. pick one moment or experience in the past five years to keep reliving in a never-ending time loop, what would it be? Our 100 country party? <laughs> I would do that every night for the rest of my life. It was the best. I think I could live in that villa in the Maldives for the rest of my life. Or like getting to Everest Base Camp, like that feeling, even though I felt terrible. <laughs> Does Nate secretly love reading when the camera Result? No. Is Kara becoming a fitness guru? Yes. <laughs> if by fitness guru, you mean working out the YouTube videos two times a week? Yes. Nourish, move, love. I do it more than two times a week. This robe is so hot. Oh. We doing it? Been there, done that. Not gonna happen this trip. I don't think I can hold a phone and coffee at the same time. Why? Just too much for me. I got the skills. Mm. Yeah. You can only see community posts if you're subscribed. Yeah, but like, so you don't if have you're not to be subscribed, subscribed. Well, I'm saying you Kara's what trying if, to force in you In the into last two hours. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Yeah. If you're watching this, <laughs> this far into this video, you should be subscribed. I'm just saying.